on the previous episode of Talk That Talk. No, I mean, I don't think the two are necessarily inherent of one another. I think you have to take people for their ta- what their talent is. I think that as an educator, you can learn all the pedagogy in the world. If you're not able to work with people, you're not going to be a great educator. And I'm saying that from experience. I have met with some people who are absolute musical geniuses when it comes to arranging, who are some of the worst teachers I've ever had in my life and are not um, people per, uh, people. Like you can be the best arranger in the world, but if you're not able to motivate people to do what you need them to do, your motivational skills can destroy your band. Um, you, uh, you know, I don't want to get too personal with that, but yeah. So that's the first <laughs> part of that. Second part of that is arranging <laughs> skills. Right? <laughs> arranging skills can be learned. And I think the challenge that we're facing in most HBCUs is that people are arranging for what they think people want to hear. Like, I get so tired of hearing cross-voicing in these arrangements, I don't know what to do. Like, these empty arrangements. Euphoniums, everybody, are not meant to be in third trumpet range. No matter how much you want them to be there, that instrument is called a tenor tuba. That is the name of the instrument. G's it up. Right. G's about to staffing up. Euphoniums. I I think that's I think it goes back to that idea of me chasing Southern things. Chasing Southern things. The Southern don't even write like that, bro. That's, they that's the misconception. They don't write like that. Exactly. They don't, but people think they do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Somebody, uh, somebody, volume's too loud. Volume's too loud. But well, go ahead, Rick. Go ahead, Rick. <laughs> and look, then the person that was typing that was the main person that the main person that was the main one. I'm like, Jordan. That ain't it. That ain't it. <laughs> but now he's, a, I mean, he's a hell of a musician. That's my guy, man. I love Jordan. But yeah, man, I just, like, all this cross voicing and all that. Like, I and I'm going to use Jordan and his euphonium section at PV as an example. I write my arrangements the way I think they should sound. I'm not writing cross voices unless I want the baritone to have the melody. It's two things between when you're playing a, a B flat major chord and you literally have the first mellophone and the euphonium playing the same note. Like it, it just blows my mind. And so it's like, you know, I would tell the baritones that baritones play what I wrote, not what's going to be loud. And then also play with the right articulation. Man, we say that so like, many times. Right. right. So, yeah, man, I think it's it's a two-part thing. I think that arrangers need to understand that there are musical concepts that they have to learn before they sit down behind a piano and say, I'm a ranger now, or behind a computer, like Julian was saying, and say, I'm a, a ranger now. I know a lot of people that still arrange from using the piano, and that's a great thing. But exactly. if you don't know what's happening in your music, like simple concepts, too, like how to resolve a five to one using the seven and the three of the core. So you'll have guys that, you know what I'm saying? Like those concepts, people, people I've never heard before, or if I want a more interesting way of, of um, using, doing a five, one, use a sus four in the place of that five. Cause it still serves that dominant, fun- like dominant, things like dominant, that. Right? Function. The same, don- the same dominant function. Like these young arrangers aren't learning these simple concepts that are, like people like us, Mario, we had to like Miss Sanders won't have this stuff. I remember every day we used right. to Mario, you remember that Bob and Bobo 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 You remember that? Yep. And Miss Sanders made us learn that in every key. And I'm yep. thinking, like, why is she making us do this? And now I understand, <laughs> man. Like, there are basic concepts that makes great arrangers. So that goes back to the educator side that Quan was saying. If you ain't teaching these kids shit, what, how can you expect them to, to be able to do what they're supposed to do? Say, Rick, I have a question. Yeah, man. Not to cut you off, I have a question. No, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Do you feel? Do you feel like then, and because we come from HBCU, do you feel like that that's a problem in uh, that a lack of teaching in regards of arranging? Um, when you were in college, Quan, do you feel <laughs> like your um, arranging class was adequate to make you a a, a a decent arranger? How about that? Just decent. Do well, I didn't have a. I, I didn't have a range in the class. I took an arranging class for my master's program. So my point exactly. 